I was looking at your stats. You've played over three thousand minutes now. You and Regan have played every minute of the the league campaign. Is that something you pride yourself on having that availability? Uh, I suppose, yeah. Um, in a really weird way, I suppose it's what we're paid to do, isn't it? It's prepared to be out there every week, so um, I don't probably read too much into it because, as I said, um, luckily, touch wood, I've been able to do it over the past three or four years, been um, available pretty much every week. Um, so, yeah, just um, once, the, once the body's feeling all right, um, it's about getting out there every week and, as I said, trying to leave, leave everything out there. And is that all about, as well, you know, what you do post-game and what you do pre-game in terms of keeping your, your body in good shape? Um, some of the boys would say no, <laughs> but no. Look, it it works for me. Um, I think boys probably some lads find that out earlier than others um, uh, as to as to what works best for you. Um, and I think I've managed to do that pretty early. Um, I played a lot of games when I was younger, first team games um, back in the League of Ireland at sixteen, seventeen. Um, so I think it probably helps in terms of kind of recovering from men's football and playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, rather than maybe been spoon fed a little bit from kind of 18 to 21 over here and you could only play one game maybe a week and maybe one game every two weeks with the 23s and the 18 system so I think your body just becomes more robust to it more early than maybe some lads so as I said I think it's just stood me in good stead and um, yeah I just, just the, the, the amount of recovery stuff and sports science that we have now it really does give you the, the best chance that being available for every game and yeah I've just took full advantage since coming over as to all the, the different the, the different recovery methods that we have and that are available to us so I try and use them as best I can. We've had a settled back five the last couple of weeks in particular how important has that been do you think to, to Lincoln's defensive record over the last month or two? Yeah yeah it, it, it makes a big difference I think um, as you said there's been Probably two or three of us, um, obviously we're rushing goals that have been um, pretty much there um, every game and um, obviously with Lewis back now he's um, been a big addition to us and um, Sean's kind of made that position his own now um, over, the, over the past number of weeks so yeah as you said just that relationship um, when it comes to even the last kind of 15-20 minutes of the game on shoot the night um, it really does kind of stand you in good stead to, to, to go and get clean sheets and, and big results and um, yeah uh, obviously before before Tuesday it was four in a row so we were disappointed to concede but in terms of the, the game and the way it went it was, it was still a positive result. Do you have a belief when you go into a game a bit like when a striker's on a good run of form and feels that they're going to score do you have a belief as a, a defender that you're not going to concede? Yeah me and Regan were only talking about it before Derby um, going into the game just literally not thinking we're going to concede even give, give big chances um, we, we kind of slag Russian goals that he's the easiest job in the league at the moment because the amount of uh, big chances that he's facing is probably quite minimal um, for, for for a lot of keepers um, but yeah uh, I'll, I'll go back to it it's, 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 what, um, it's what our job title is what we're paid to do so um, I think you should have a lot of pride in it and um, it starts on the training pitch we do a lot of work with the gaffer and, and, and Butts and Shawsy and the different drills um, be it 3v2s 4v2s, 4v3s, different kind of phases of play like that where um, you're tested um, wide areas, defending defending crosses which we have to do a lot on, on Tuesday night but it doesn't just happen miraculously, we do a lot of work on us out on the training pitch so credit has to go to them as well so having us well prepared. Pulse of this weekend, uh, nearly a home sell out uh, as we speak, are you looking forward to, to having that atmosphere again in another big game? Yeah, I'm buzzing first, uh, the support on Tuesday was unbelievable, probably the, the best I've seen from my support in a long, long while, um, so credit, credit to them because we definitely needed to, to draw on that um, in, in the later stages and yeah, I'm sure they'll, they'll be out in their numbers, I've, I've a, bit, a few family over from Ireland for it as well, so when they obviously heard that it was going to be set out on, on the back of the, the good form as well, um, they were they were excited to get over and be their first time out, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What have you told them about what to expect on Saturday? Um, yeah, I said the 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 six one seven over in that corner. They they love the place bouncing from kind of early doors. And yeah, um, as I said, with, with the with the way we're playing, um, the off the back of Tuesday night as well. It's um, set up to it should be a really really good atmosphere.